Now that autumn is in the air, it's time for pumpkin pie, apple turnovers, and hot mm. cider. That's right. And here with a few recipe twists on fall's favorites is celebrity chef Mark Bailey. Yeah. And this Happy looks fall. amazing. Congratulations uh, two times, uh, baby uh, and century. Uh, thank yeah, you. Thank Congrats, you. guys. Thank you. <laughs> and you brought us food to I celebrate. Did. Right. You're eating for two, so I had to. And okay. I brought a lot. Oh, thank, <laughs> and thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Now let's talk about what's hot for the fall in yeah, terms of sure. food. We fall talked foods. about coconut oil earlier. Yes. So let's mm -hmm. let's talk about food. I need food. You need food. 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 Well, let's yes. start with comfort. Let's okay. start with yes. comfort. What we have here, comfort food is in, mm -hmm. as if it ever went out, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. But you know, what we find is that a lot of people um, during a recession cook at home and so mm. when you cook at home you tend to make a lot of uh, comfort foods yeah. and so restaurants jumped on that and you thought once the recession started to dissipate maybe you know people would stop eating comfort food but it hasn't stopped yeah. mm. so fortunately for me because I love right. comfort food so and as it gets colder this helps us stay nice and warm it stays so nice and bring? warm right and you know comfort food got a bad rap everybody always kind of like think it's not healthy but you can do it healthy as well Just so, in yeah. moderation in right. moderation okay. anything and everything in moderation so tell us about so wait, the comfort food you talk, brought we're gonna start with the hot cider first oh, right? you want to start okay. You, okay we can start with the hot cider this is butterscotch Oh, I see um, it hot there. cider and so what I do is I just mm -hmm. take a butterscotch candy and put it on right the bottom. The bottom. You can crumble that up actually okay. too and then when you pour the uh, hot cider on it it'll eventually dissipate and dissolve. Uh, I give it an extra that's little a, yeah. taste there. And for a kick, I didn't put a kick in there because you're carrying, oh. <laughs> but you can add some rum as well for a little kick mm -hmm. so you guys Here's sip yours. on no that. Rum. No <laughs> rum. No oh, rum. Man. But a kick of butterscotch. I heard about that, that drinking bar earlier. Yeah, no, gestation. <laughs> right. Oh, okay, so this is uh, virgin apple cider. Yes, that's a virgin of wrong butterscotch. With apple cider. So, you know, a little butterscotch gives it that fall flavor. Mm -hmm. Apples are ready in the fall. Why not add a little butterscotch to it okay. as well? So, we have oh. our drink ready. Yeah. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's easy. You just warm up some cider, you just throw a little few cinnamon sticks in there, mm. and like I said, it that really butterscotch can in there. Yeah, it's a nice little flavor to All it. All right, okay. now that our palates are cleansed, Come let's get the party started. Where do you want to jump? Comfort food. Comfort foods. Well, mac and cheese is definitely comfort food. Yes. So, this is pumpkin. Wait a pumpkin minute, mac and cheese. Pumpkin mac and pumpkin cheese. Pumpkin mac and cheese. And I've what never I do heard. Is, yeah, you know, it's it's actually a lot of people do it. They just throw a little pumpkin puree in your roux when you're mm -hmm. creating your cheese roux, and you just throw it all together and add a little. Uh, I want to jump in mm. this head wanna, first and just oh eat my, my way out. Like, you get a lot of the pumpkin favor. <laughs> <laughs> eat your way out. <laughs> well, no, right? You want to just way jump out in there. Eat my way in this dish. That's yeah, delicious. it is. It's, yeah, it's okay, very Okay, so really quickly, what's the recipe for this? Like I said, pumpkin puree. Just add that in there as well as you might want to put a little cayenne pepper. I like a little spice. You know, Caribbean, I love spice. Mm, yeah. So a little spice and some nutmeg. Mm. nutmeg. And that's the extra thing to make your little Normal pumpkin. Normal noodles, lots of cheese, mm -hmm. put it in the oven, cheese, 350. Mm. 350, 45 okay. minutes, you're good. You're good. Extra oh, cheese on top good. if you like cheesy. Extra cheese on top, that's why I like to do it, <laughs> extra cheesy. The key is the okay. nutmeg, the nutmeg, pumpkin puree. the pumpkin puree, and the little cayenne pepper if you All like right. spice. Now so. I see a fried egg here, what's going that's on? An, this is a sweet potato hash. You know, sweet potato is one of the uh, uh, fall foods as well. It sure is. So instead of just doing your standard white potato hash, why not do a little sweet potato hash, top it with sweet an egg, and what's in there is some thyme, and you have some onions, as well. Yeah, a little sugar. It gives it a nice little kick. Yeah. Little <laughs> and then, okay. Okay. <laughs> Shane's just going to eat right now. Sweet great. potatoes are healthier than regular white potatoes, yes, right? Yes, that's one so. of our superfoods. So mm -hmm. that also is a trend for the fall. You, you spoke about superfoods earlier with the coconut oil and everything. That's it's great. not going anywhere. It's just chefs are thinking of different ways of incorporating all those superfoods in new recipes. Now, are you supposed to break the egg over that when you eat it or just eat it around? You know what? I like <laughs> to break it, but uh -huh. some people just like to eat around sometimes or what mm -hmm. have you. No, but let's yeah. break it. Yeah. <laughs> let's break it. I'll break it with this part that I didn't eat off of and mix it around. There you go. Uh -huh. go. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Now I'll taste it. This <laughs> mac and cheese is the truth. You like mm. it. Yes, mm. definitely. Mm. Comfort mm. all the way around. I tell mm. you, fall is about comfort food. Hashtag delicious. delicious. You're taking that home. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, in fact. <laughs> you take that home. Talk about this right Please. here. I'll be right. Oh, my oh, goodness. That looks like chicken, chicken and waffles and to me. and waffles. My so goodness. this is a classic. Uh, this is a classic, you so know. So how do you give it the Bailey twist? Big on the West Coast. I like to use for the fall um, mm -hmm. gingerbread waffles. And once Gingerbread again, waffles. yes, once in the uh, batter, once again, you're adding things like pumpkin puree, okay. nutmeg, cloves, um, cinnamon. You're adding all that extra stuff to the batter to make mm. that good gingerbread oh, waffle. Gingerbread. Mm. Yeah, and then the fried okay, chicken tenders, of course. Are you taking it home as well? Taking it home. But you know, yeah. Lunch. Yeah, that's mm. definitely, yeah. And you know, uh, one of the things we're seeing this fall is that a lot oh, of breakfast know. recipes. This is mm. heavenly. Uh, on, yes, it is, isn't it? Mm. On mm. dinner menus, and so you'll find chicken and waffles a lot on dinner menus. That's one of the But trends. I like the ginger and uh, gingerbread yeah. aspect of mm -hmm. it. It really gives it a nice flavor. It's different. It reminds me of fall actually just eating it. So. Eating it. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun mm. time. And Food is fun so in the good. fall. Mm. I love it. Smell this. 
No, I'm smelling it. And I'm tasting it too. Okay, now you know we can't do. A... You're not eating for two. <laughs> you sure? Oh, you're not right, exactly. My wife tells me I'm all the time, but that's beside the point. All right, so desserts. Yeah, where desserts. Are these? Apple turnovers. These are apple turnovers, but I like to make them with the empanada uh, uh, patties. That's so really yeah. Interesting twist. Yeah, exactly. So you know, you throw some um, apples, you saute them with butter. Mm -hmm. um, I like to add. Sometimes you can add walnuts. I like to add oh. raisins. Okay. And you know what we're finding as uh, once again in the trend is that uh, desserts are smaller. They're yes. getting smaller. So instead of the big pies mm -hmm. and the big bowls of not to say there's anything wrong with that. No. No, no, but no. we're finding that desserts are now being served smaller in miniature cups and stuff of that nature. Shots. Portion control. Portion control. You yes. know, you just can't eat as much of them. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and eat one of those. Oh, <laughs> dig you in, dig in, all these guys. little twists. Here yes. Go, oh, yes. Okay, I'll take two. Of course, because I want you to see the inside. This looks great. Yeah, the, it's the, good I have apple. the apples, the, the raisins, the raisins. Are in there. and a lot of cinnamon. Double fist the apple mm. turnover. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Mm. Crazy. I know. Mm. Shay likes to eat. Well, that's what I love. I, I love people that I love to eat. I was a pregnant one. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Lola, hello. I'm doing this for you. These are called sympathy pains, yeah. okay? And you're so ungrateful. You're going to gain weight along with me, that's right? That's why I'm here for you. Okay, so where can we get more of these recipes? Because mm. you know... ChefBailey.com. ChefBailey.com. Chef you know I won't let you guys down. You can find all these recipes on ChefBailey.com. All right. Mm. You get a mac and cheese. You get a mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese. You get a mac and well, cheese. Well, if you insist, I'll take a mac and cheese. And this is your book again, really quickly. Cooking in Boxers with mm -hmm. Chef Bailey, 50 Ways to Keep Your Maid in Bed. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure this is a few ways you can keep your maid in bed, oh, too. Yeah, note to my right. wife, this Look will at keep this. me in I mean... bed. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Bailey. I Thank appreciate you. you. You're very welcome. Great Thank recipes. you, guys. Look at this. Go ahead this and finish crazy. up, Lola. And you're watching a Rise Entertainment 360. Come this back with that crazy. food, Chef.